Then we create an online, we'll call it a platform. It's an overused word, but whatever. An online platform. And only if you buy into the Nebraska thing, if you're a client, if you're a company that's into it, and you're doing the training, you're, you're, you're working hard to reinvent yourself, be fresh, be exciting, be new. Put you up on that platform. Right? Publicize it. Good PR thing. So people can think you're a forward-thinking right. company. Now you hear me, right? Double-digit growth, top-line sales increasing, new people coming in, excitement going on here, new product development and so on. <clears throat> By the way, if you'd like to go to work for this company, mm -hmm. click here on this website, right, right, if you're interested. Right. Right. So it becomes a recruiting platform, but it's combined with positive publicity, good stuff happening. Whole new image for the company. A whole new image yeah. for the company. Yeah. Get enough of them, whole new image for the state. Yeah. Yeah, New Nebraska. Yeah, New Nebraska. <laughs> Be new. All right. So I'm calling you about something new, right? So <clears throat> we have these three oranges. I was wondering what these are for. Well, you and I talked a few weeks ago about something called urban naturalism. Yeah. Urban naturalism is a way for the state of Nebraska to transcend the polarization between Western and Eastern. We've got a different idea, the urbanites, the rural people. You pull them together. Urban naturalism enables us to galvanize and come together around a higher truth. We are both. We are one. We are not just one or the other. So urban naturalism is kind of a civic health social thing. Okay. okay. All right. Then, of course, we all know about Blueprint Nebraska. It's been uh, in the works now for an 18 months. Hank Bounds kind of got it started, and the governor, and uh, Brian Sloan at the chamber, and some other very important people, 300 people around the state, Owen Palm out there in Scotts Bluff. So here we go. We finally got the report done. We got a vision that's been publicized. This is what we want Nebraska to be in the future by 2030. Very aggressive vision. Very aggressive. Don't ask me how they plan and implement but uh, uh, at least we have a vision and research, okay. which is a good thing. Maybe Nebraska, maybe Nebraska and this training concept will be the way, huh? Will be the way, the blueprint idea and that vision is realized, huh. or at least partially, right? Maybe it can augment. Maybe the three of them belong together as a way to deal with social ills, deal with business and talent attraction, and deal with uh, systemic health and vitality to get more companies, more people, more money, more action right here in the state of Nebraska.